Today I'm going to quickly show you how to insert a bar chart in Google Sheets. So we'll start with the basics and then we'll spend a little more time getting a little more of the details for those of you guys that want to learn a little more. So I got a couple of samples here. I'm going to go ahead and delete these and then we're going to start from scratch. So you can just select this data set you want and then basically insert and chart. The one thing I do want to note is if you have totals here, it's going to mess it up. So um, let me go ahead and create the chart first and then I'll show you how it can get messed up. So this is stacked here, so this may not be what you want. So if you don't want that, you can just go to column here and then you can see each individually. So it depends upon whether you want to see them as a percentage, um, like in this example, and you can kind of compare each month what the sales were, um, or you can do a chart like this. So we're going to go ahead and go with this for now. I'm going to go ahead and resize this a little bit, and then we'll dive in and make our changes. So one thing to note is um, when you get in here, this may be messed up. Um, this did render correctly, but sometimes it'll be flipped around. And so if we do it like this, sometimes you'll get in and the chart will look like this. And so all you need to do in that case is go to this setup on this chart editor and then come down and do switch rows and columns. And then it should automatically pick it up. Otherwise, um, you can make sure to tweak your data range, make sure it's not including totals and so forth. So let's go ahead and just show up what happens if we, for example, edit this, and include that totals um, there. Uh, you can see that kind of makes it a goofy layout or it's not really comparing it very well. Um, or if we go to O and include our year total, you can see that kind of makes everything messed up as well. And so the best thing to do is just to include your basic data set. All right, so one thing, um, we can change these colors here. So one way we can do that is we can go to customize and we can go to our series. And then we can go through each one and change the fill color here, for example. Um, another way we can do that, however, um, that may be much faster, especially if you want uh, a similar color throughout, is go to format theme and then just pick a different theme and you can see all the colors update automatically. And this will also actually change your standard font as well. So this is a really quick way to change the view. So I kind of like that look there. So let's go ahead and stick with that for now. And then I'm going to double click on this chart to bring it back up. And then let's just call rename this call it fruit breakdown. And this is under chart and access tiles right here. Um, we can change some settings here. For example, we can change the font and size, etc. Another way to get to that when you're just here in the chart is if you just double click on that section in the chart on that title, it'll automatically take you that point. And so another thing here, I don't know if I want the sales, so I'm just going to double click. I'm just going to delete this and get rid of that out of there, make it a little cleaner look like that. And then another thing here is I'm not a huge fan. Maybe you are. I'm not a huge fan of this border. And so I'm going to double click here. I'm going to go to chart style and then you can change the background of the whole um, chart and so maybe a light gray if you don't want something super bold you can change the um, border color there as well you can also set some things like maximize if you want to kind of um, fill that space um, another option is 3d and turns those into 3d columns um, and then compare mode we won't go into at the moment because we don't have the right data set for that um, so you can go through the chart title here um, and you can add access lines if you want. Um, so we had that one that was called sales and so forth. Um, we can go through series. We were just here um, on the all series. We can change the colors this way. Uh, another thing we can do is under apply to all series. So you can do when you're in the series tab, you can do um, pick one and apply changes individually. Or if you want to do something across all of them, then just do apply to all series. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually add a number, and that's under data labels. And it's going to add that number um, for each one right there. And so then under the data values then, or data labels, I'm sorry, um, you can choose what you want to display, um, the position. So you can use center of the column, for example, um, inside base, or maybe inside end, which probably is the most appropriate here. You may want to decrease that size a little bit. You can actually, so it has um, 10 through 36. You can type in a smaller size there. Uh, I think six is the smallest you can go. Um, 
And then also you can change the font here if you like as well. And then text color and so forth. Um, and then you can also change the format. So we'll go back over that here in a second. Um, I accidentally clicked on error bars. We don't want that one in this one. So error bars is more applicable in different data sets where you want to show uh, a variance. All right, so that will be all that we'll do under series. Um, and then legend here, um, you can change where you want that to show it. So you can get rid of it entirely if you like. Um, you can do top where it was. You can do the bottom, left, right. Um, you can kind of do a little more inside there. Um, or just click auto and Google will try to figure out appropriate place to put that. Um, and we can make those other changes. So we're going to go ahead and jump out of this one now and go down to our other one here. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm not going to select the year totals, insert chart. And you can see kind of guessed at what we wanted here. And so we're pretty close, but we'll just go ahead and I'll show you how to make some changes on here again. I'm going to go a little faster this time since we've been down this road. I'm going to go ahead and click delete on this metric. And so this one has um, the sense on here. And so maybe you want to see the sense, maybe you don't. And so I don't really want to see it in this case because the numbers we're looking at. And so I'm going to double click on this and that brings me to this vertical axis. I'm going to scroll down number format. Instead of from source data, I'm going to select currency rounded. You can see there it shows up like that. So you could even get rid of the currency altogether um, and just do a, a number, for example. Um, in that case, you go to other number formats. Maybe you could do something like this. And that gets rid of those dollar signs altogether. But for in this case, we're just going to use the rounded currency. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that just to kind of give you an idea of jumping back in and out of this. So I like to double click on the chart and it brings back up. Um, let's go ahead and adjust this real quick. So I just clicked on the title there. I'm going to mess with this a little bit, change the color a little bit darker, um, change that font, make it bold. Um, that looks a little better now. And then I'm going to collapse this section. As we look through here, let's add those um, labels here. So we're going to go to series all series and then add those data labels and then again just like we were above above we just had numbers so we didn't deal with this but we're going to do the same thing we just did with the um, vertical axis and we're going to change that number format let's go ahead and do rounded numbers here as well all right and then um, under the data labels we can determine where we want these auto I think we're going to do them inside and just keep it consistent across both of them and then that should do it there and then finally, let's go ahead and quickly change these backgrounds just like that. Um, we can take them. Look at that 3D. Looks kind of nice in that one, actually. So we're going to leave this one 3D just to add a little more visual interest. And then I'm going to resize this just a little bit. And that looks really good. So we're going to go ahead and call it good for today. I think we've kind of walked you through a couple different scenarios there, get you started on charts. And there's a lot that can happen here, so um, just be patient, fiddle around with it a little bit, and if all else fails, just delete the chart and start over. Sometimes that, that's the best way to do it when you kind of get screwed up there. Because um, the big thing that can get screwed up sometimes is on the setup with the data range. And so um, I'm going to record a video here at some point, kind of walking through how that can get messed up and how to help resolve that. But it takes a little time fiddling, so it's beyond what we're going to do today. But I hope uh, this helps you to be able to break... Um, down those numbers for you and build some charts and we will see you in the next one thanks guys have a great day